You don't want to love? I will not be making the same mistake as last week. No. I'm done with the Pyrotan. I'm on to the Benadryl Plus now. Benadryl Plus. Yes. It's got pseudo effigen in it. Yeah. It's on the Olympics ban list. So I wouldn't be able to compete in the Olympics. No. It's a stimulant, apparently. Pseudo effigen. Yeah. Night out, Ravers. Welcome to Ray Rotul's Race Night. Mmm. <laughs> Welcome to the dining room for the 706 and they always remember to check the label steaks because uh, I made a proper pillow can we sound last week didn't I? I didn't take the label properly on my medication resulting in taking an incorrect dosage and falling asleep at the wheel so to speak good job I weren't operating any heavy machinery yeah anyway they always remember to check the label steaks will be contested every distance of 3 feet 11 inches and they're going to his firm and there's five runners. So on to the gate draw and in gate one it's Dallas Green ridden by Dog. Got a win last week did Dallas Green and suddenly catapulted the set into top five. Doddy is a very determined rider so underestimate her at your peril. Gate two Bockle of Bay ridden by John Oliver with no trousers on. Ugh bloody hell. It's only just below top spot now. I don't know how he does it. Because Rip had such a brilliant start to the season, but Bottle of Bay just hanging in there, just uh, nestled in behind. Yeah, I can't be doing with him. Look how arrogant he looks. Look how he just, oh, bloody hell, smug. Get rid of him, get him off, get him off. Gate three, it's Don't Eat Yellow Snow, ridden by me. I am clinging on to top five with my fingertips. Uh, managed to get a point last week, but still slipped down a place to fifth. So uh, I need to book my ideas up, otherwise I'll be dropping out of that top five pretty sharpish, I feel. Gate four, Rip, ridden by Benny Hill. Now, Rip had a perfect start to the season. Four wins from four, but he lost his perfect record last time out, didn't he? Can he get back amongst the places tonight? And in gate five, Diamond Dallas Page, ridden by Deke. Now, Deke, lad, he was delighted. Absolutely over Moonwee's win because he's had a few seconds this year and came a cropper on the Gibbons teeth but he overcame the Gibbons teeth last time out and got a win well done Deaky lad he'll be open for more of the same tonight righty ho the odds well I am your outsider at 11 to 2 that's uh, down to Ellis now obviously uh, Dallas Green Diamond Dallas Page both at 4 to 1 but Buckle of Bear and Rip are your joint favourites 3 to 1 Remember these odds are, are just for information purposes, just out you pick a winner. Gamble responsibly. What are the odds on me falling asleep at the wheel tonight? Very long odds. Uh, yes, in case you haven't noticed. The pseudo effigy has kicked in. And I'm full of beans. Full of beans. Yes, indeed. Now, what happened last week? Well, Steed came a cropper, slipped up on stool, and then, as we see from this video here, hind leg gets cut on stool. Down he goes. Down goes Steed. And consequently, uh, having to clue, were obstructed, they were impeded because Steed got clogged up in Ruttles Hook uh, and having to clue, could not get past it. But, taking an opportunity with Dallas Green, she did not need a second invitation to the party, no. She was pressing ahead for a first win of the season despite being hunted down by Scarlet Pumpernel in vain, I might add. Uh, she held on for the win. Pumpernel managed to get second and our trape stone in third. Now tonight's line up sees the top five all in action against each other. What is going to happen? Let's get to the starting gates and find out. Yeah, and they're starting so days. And they're off. Out they go. And Dallas Green, we can see her swerving to avoid the gravy stain again already. But it looks like it's Buckle Bear who's in the lead as they cross the stool. It's Buckle Bear and Dallas Green on that far side. And Dallas Green is creeping ahead. But Rip is now in the mix on this near side. It's Rip who's in the lead as they approach the Gibbons teeth. But Rip gets grabbed up. Oh, that looks very close to the death. We will need to separate that with a photo finish, I believe. Oh, dear to me, that were, uh, that were exciting. I mean, even if I were feeling drowsy, uh, there's no way you could fall asleep watching that. 
And uh, they all got a good start. But again, look at this skillful riding here from Dallas Green. Swerving to avoid the gravy stain on, the gravy stain on that near side. Uh, and uh, over the stool superbly. And it looks like it's her in the lead, followed by Buckler Bay just uh, next to her. But Rip starts to close the gap here. I think they might just get snagged up on Ruttles Up. Yes, just catches the nickel bit. But Rip is over Ruttles Up very smoothly. And Rip looks like he might be in the lead on this near side. Yes, indeed, that is the case. It's Rip on this near side, followed by Dallas Green on the far side. And everybody is very close together. Now, what happens here? Because there's a schmozzle here at the gimme's teeth. I get snagged up. Rip gets caught. And, oh, how'd it freeze it? Right, well... You can't separate them pair, can you? They look like they're dead level. Right, roll it back in a nickel bit. And roll it down again. No, they crossed the line at exactly the same time. That's a, a dead heat for first. I don't, have we ever seen that before? I don't know if we have. Maybe we have. Can't remember. Uh, and uh, roll it down. Diamond Arse Page manages to nip in for third. It was nowhere, but uh, stay patient. Got to send a point. Oof. That were, that were exciting. Let's get uh, confirmation of the results. So, confirmation of the results of the Dining Room 706. And they always remember to check the label stakes. And first, were that dead heat? Dallas Green, Bockler Bay, inseparable. No second places, of course. Third, Dam Dallas Page nipped in. Capitalised on uh, some slip-ups from uh, Rip and Doty Yellow Snow. All five ran, no fallers. It was very close this week. We saw a great start from Dallas Green with some superb technical riding to avoid the gravy stain on that far side as she went into an early lead. But then Rip fought back after the cross ruttles up and it looked like Rip were on course for a fifth win. But then he got chomped on by Gibbons T and Dallas Green and Buckler Bear held on for a time. What has that done to the leaderboard? Well, Buckler Bear, he's only bloody top. Bloody hell. Rips have that perfect start to the season, but uh, you take your foot off the gas, buckle a bit, nips in, and he's in the blooming lead. Bloody hell. Uh, Rip still is in second, though, on 12 points. Dallas Green now in third. She's uh, got two wins in the last two races. She's up to 10 points now. And she's uh, Ed, Ed Adam and Dallas Page, a big rival. Uh, the level of points she's had on the countback roll. Uh, and I, as I predicted, I'm going to fall out of that top five if I ain't careful, because I haven't made any ground today. I'm on seven points. Struggling to keep pace with them uh, big guns. Down in the bottom half, there's no change at all, because none of these runners are run this week. So we've got Amateur Clue in sixth on five points. All White on the night and Lord Pinch uh, both tied in seventh. Also on five, but again down there because of the countback rule and having not won a race. The Pumpernel was in ninth on two points. And Steed is on the body with zero. But we will see them five in action next week. Come and join us in the dining room. Sunday, July the 3rd, 7 o'clock for the gate jar. And in the meantime, you go online at rayruttle.com forward slash race night. And you can check out the full schedule. That's on there. Check out the season standings if you want a detailed look. And there's uh, videos of all the old races on there as well. And you can see what else I've been up to. Have a look at some of my reviews. If you don't watch my reviews, watch some of them or not. And get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. It's always great to hear from the ravers. Tweet me at Ray Ruttle. Or pop a comment below. Or you can even email me via my website. Always love to hear from you. Great to hear from the riders. Will Deke be happy with his point? Or will he be livid that he's finished uh, behind Doddy? Who knows? Bet Doddy will be happy though. And remember to poke the like button, give it a good heart poking, thank you. Share the excitement to race time with your mates. And subscribe, if you're not already a subscriber, click on that subscribe button. Well done, thank you. And I will see you a lot next time. Okie do. Right, well, full of beans love, full of beans. I might go for a run. Yeah, I know I haven't been for a run in 30 years, but uh, yeah, why not? I'm off.